and good morning to the people of the Federal States of Micronesia, also those within and outside of its borders. And good morning to everyone in the gallery and those joining us today to witness the beginning of another chapter in our nation's uh, progressive history. The recent passing of our nation's beloved Vice President, Yusuf P. George, in August, created a vacancy at the highest level in the executive branch of the FSM national government. As required by WAPIC Law 22-29, the Congress is mandated to fill this vacancy within 30 days. In that respect, we do have a special order on today's calendar to elect and administer hold of office to a new vice president of the Federated States of Micronesia. Therefore, to start off this occasion of national significance, may I request that we all rise for the singing of the FSM National Anthem by Mr. Andreas Raven, who is here in two. May we all rise. Uh, you may take your seats. Thank you, Mr. Raven, for the beautiful rendition of our national anthem. Okay, uh, we can now begin our order of business. I now call to order. I now call to order the ninth day of the fifth regular session of the 22nd Congress, which is being held remotely or virtually due to the limitations of uh, COVID-19. At this time, may I call upon Reverend Otaro Lauren from the Tanpei Church UCCB to bless today's session and all its proceedings. Sergeant at Arms, Please escort Reverend Lauren to the podium. 
All rise for the invocation, please. Shall we pray? <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, our heavenly Father who created heaven and earth and all within, we humbly stand before you to give you thanks. Above all things, give us faith in you that your nation can go forward in justice and freedom. Bless us all, especially this gathering from your Congress of Micronesia, that we may serve you according to thy will, in justice and freedom for all people. May the Lord bless this gathering and bless all the things that has been do. May we all keep you thanks in Jesus' name, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Lauren, for the invocation. Shipwreck, call the roll. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> Speaker. Senator Aritos? Yes. Senator Christian? Amen. Senator Figuier? Yes. Senator Colon? Floor Leader Harper? Present. Senator Conman? Yes. Vice Speaker Moses? Amen. Senator Nett? Senator Pollock? To all. to all, Senator. Senator Berman. Amen. Senator Ramalo. Amen. Senator Rosamal. Honor. Senator Wally. Yes. Speaker Simona. Yes, sir. Present. Mr. Speaker, uh, 13 members are present. <laughs> Speaker point, of second. speaker, point of privilege. Uh, state your point, uh, Chairman Berman. Thank you, Speaker. Good morning to you, members, and all of those that are, that are observing our session this morning. Speaker, I rise on a point of privilege on behalf of the Pompey delegation to recognize our guests, our special guests for today's special day. First, I, I would like us to recognize our Acting Chief Justice, the Honorable Bulian Worswick. Can we give her a round of applause, please? <coughs> we also have our cabinet members and the new chief of staff. Can we also give them a round of applause? Of course, Juan Peron Kotaro Lorin. Can we please also give him a round of applause? And we do have uh, our special guest for today, our guest for today from our Pompey State Legislatures, uh, Senator Walter, Senator Mikkel, or the five speaker of Pompey State Legislatures, Senator Apis, and Senator Aris. Can we please give them a round of applause? 
And if I miss anybody, please, uh, Pompeii delegation, to help me out. But thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Chairman Perman. Uh, of course, uh, on behalf of the FSM Congress, we join the Pompeii delegation in welcoming and acknowledging the presence of all those uh, good citizens of ours who are here, who are with you in the chamber there, joining us, uh, <clears throat> witnessing this uh, important uh, uh, day in our history. Okay. Speaker? We do have a quorum to uh, translate business. Today. Point of privilege. Yes. State your point, uh, Vice Chairman Christian. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Speaker, members, ladies and gentlemen, Vice Speaker Miguel and the three J's of the Bonpe Legislature who are with us today. Mr. Speaker and members, our good wisdom reminds us that for every action, there is a reaction. This of course sounds a bit more or too scientific to befit the occasion we wake up to today with great anticipation. I am sure the nation joins us in this moment of anxiety. Recep perception of an event, however, its status is often as many as those who spectate. And indeed, different persons see the same things in different lights. This is an historic event and also an historic medium through which Congress will conduct its appointment of a person to an important position through a medium not within the chambers of our Congress. What we do today is one to be kept, to be remembered, to become part of the history of our nation's growth. For me, I join you today with much pride. And while we must dedicate this occasion to national political importance, I ask you all to indulge my selfishness in all this by speaking about the man for whom this is about. In the sunset years of the gray area, era of the trust territory of the Pacific Islands or Kowalikilik and Takan Pacific Kan, the government established what was the Micronesia Project Schools program about which many of us know. A program that continued into the sunrise years of what we now know as the Federated States of Micronesia or Kantaka Kapatapat and Micronesia. As a new member of Congress then, eager and thinking that he knows everything and as chairman of the Health and Social Affairs Committee, I led a get to know junket to visit the Micronesia Project Schools, East Arizona University, San Diego State, Chico and Larson in California, La Grande and Manmouth in Oregon, Commerce and Corsicana in Texas. And except for remembering that it was a long and prolonged trip, Mr. Speaker, I confess, I remember very little about the trip, except at La Grande Pendleton in Oregon, where one of the students asked me a question that I disliked. Uh, yes, I disliked it and resented the question for what it sought, but also for the fact that the person asking the question was not a Pompeian. The question was straightforward and quite clearly reflected our upbringing under the trust territory era. Will the government find us jobs when we finish school and return home? That was the question. No, you will have to find jobs for yourselves. You will not be handed a job. That was the answer. Well, some of those students are back home now and I dare say are doing rather well if not very well for themselves and also for this country. Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen and gentlemen, I, I believe that Senator Palik understands who asked that question in La Grande. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chairman Christian for uh, another eloquent statement on uh, 
the uh, person who will be our next uh, vice president, I believe. Okay. Bigger. Bigger. Yes, uh, you have a point of privilege. Uh, yes, Wood? yes, I want to follow Please through. Please do so. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> I rise on a point of privilege to thank the Almighty God for his many blessings and allowing myself and others to celebrate with the and witness the swearing ceremony of our, or will be the next vice president, His Excellency Aaron Pali. Witnessing this exercise in Kushai Delegation Office, we are very honored to have the following individuals in our uh, chamber this morning. Mr. Speaker, we have Honorable Carl Lapis, Secretary of TCNI here with <clears throat> us, along with Governor Carson Sikra, Honorable Lieutenant Governor R.T. Nena, Honorable Speaker Talen Chapalik, Honorable Ronor Cho and the future second lady at Atelita Aaron Palik, Rollinson Nate, our chief of staff or the governor's chief of staff, Marston Lukimas representing the court, Ibsen P. Palik, brother of Aaron Palik and his wife Rosita. We also have Kilaba <coughs> Palik in, in absentia and Irene Elwell and Elwell Palik in our chamber this morning. We will have lunch outside after the ceremony year, paid by your truly, yours truly, and thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And on behalf of the Kushai delegation, we want to thank Pastor Kodaro for his blessing of this gathering and the new or will be new Vice President, His Excellency RNP Bali. We also want to welcome speaker and all the members of Congress that are joining us this morning and other members of, or other citizens of FSM that are tuning in to our ceremony this morning. Exciting thing in Kushaya now is, who is going to replace Vice Chairman Palik? So thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the time. Kinisho, Kalangan, Kamagar, and Gulamala. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> let's uh, give a round of applause to all those uh, dignitaries and uh, guests. Thank you again, uh, Chairman Willie. Of course, uh, yeah, that's the exciting part. Uh, I guess the one for the selection of the vice president is sort of uh, known and it's a public secret right now. But uh, for uh, the selection of uh, his replacement, I think that's the exciting part. Maybe those in that room with you, I don't know, maybe all of them are expecting something. <clears throat> okay. Yes. <laughs> so we will now come to the next item. That's the special order. And uh, we will, uh, by formality, go to the caucus. As uh, alluded to in my earlier statement, that today's special order is to elect uh, the vice president for our nation. And that begins with a caucus. Uh, the Congress uh, will now go into recess to allow members to go into caucus and fulfill our constitutional uh, duty to elect among 
the four eligible candidates will be the nation's uh, ninth vice president. Short reasons. Conference is now back in session. Uh, we are now on the next item of our uh, special order. That's the election of the vice president. I will now entertain a motion for a nomination. Uh, Mr. Vice Speaker, Chairman Christian. It is my Proceed, honor please. on behalf of the people of Pompey State and the states of Yap Chuk to make the nomination uh, for the position of vice president for the nation. And I hereby nominate the honorable Aaron Palik of the state of Koshai to fill the position of vice president. Any second? Second. Okay, that's been moved. Uh, that's been uh, nominated. Uh, moved and nominated that Senator Aaron B. Palik of the state of Koshai be the vice president of the 
Confederate States of Micronesia. Okay. Uh, figure. Yes, uh, Chairman Figure. I move that the nomination be closed. Okay. No objection. Uh, the nomination is now uh, closed uh, for that reason. I hereby declare by uh, acclamation that uh, Aaron B. Palik of the state of Koshai has been selected by this Congress as the next vice president of the Federal States of Micronesia. May we all give him a round of applause and congratulations, uh, Mr. Palik. Would we wait until he actually says I do? Well, he's now the uh, elected, but at this time, I will allow Senator, I still call him Senator Palik. If you have any kind of statement to make at this point, I will uh, allow it. Senator Palik. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Good morning to you, distinguished colleagues and members of Congress. I am deeply honored and grateful to have been chosen to fill the vacancy in the vice presidency of the FSM. And I'm humbled by the trust and confidence you have placed in me. And I thank our heavenly father for his wonderful blessings, for the peace and freedom we enjoy and for the high responsibility he has bestowed upon me. Mr. Speaker, I once again join President Banuelo, honorable members of Congress, and the leadership of our four states and the people of this nation in expressing our deepest sympathy and condolences on the passing of the late Vice President the Honorable Yoshiwo P. George. We also express our sincere gratitude and appreciation for his dedicated services and significant contributions to our nation. I am honored to carry on and continue his duties and responsibilities as Vice President. As a public servant, and we are all public servant, Mr. Speaker and uh, colleagues, we must be prepared to sacrifice and do our part to ensure unity in our nation and a smooth and uninterrupted operation of our government. For me, so we're going to go to the center, right? Thanks. Right now. For now. Okay. May I continue, uh, Mr. Speaker? Continue. Uh... Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. So for me as a public servant, I am ready and willing to do my part. President Benuelo has already set the vision, the goals and objectives of this administration. My role therefore will essentially be support to support, complement and facilitate the ongoing implementation of priority initiatives, programs and projects of our nation. Mr. Speaker and colleagues, it's been an honor and special privilege working with you here in Congress. And I truly appreciate the opportunity. I look forward to continuing working very closely with all of you from the other side, from the executive branch. I wanted to make my uh, remark brief because I know action speaks louder than word and we need to work, act instead of talking. So in closing, Mr. Speaker, uh, first let me thank uh, Vice Chairman Christian for his nomination and thank him for his always uh, uh, good advice, wisdom. And thank you for remembering the uh, the uh, story back in college um, and it was me who asked that question and if he didn't give me that answer Mr. Speaker and colleagues 
I probably would be somewhere else. So I thank him because he challenged me in understanding that it's not just a government job, but our nation need many, needs many, many other uh, 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 yes. develop many other areas in our economy and in our government. So I want to thank uh, Vice Chairman Christian for his kind words. On a personal note, uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my uh, mentor, my advisor, and my friend, uh, Chairman Willie. I thank him for his uh, support. Um, you know, truly we've been working together very well as a team. And um, I hope that um, we will continue to do that even though I'm moving to the other side. I just might sign his uh, PCD faster or move his <laughs> PCD faster than the others. So, so anyway, uh, thank you, uh, Chairman Willie. Um, I appreciate your support. I wish to also acknowledge and thank my wife, our children, my siblings, and family members, and the people of Koshai State for their tireless support, love, you, and Lord. prayers. God bless you, Mr. Speaker, and God bless the Federal States of Micronesia. Thank you. Thank you. Give him a round of applause. <clears throat> Of privilege, Mr. Speaker. Uh, yes, uh, Prime Leader, state your point. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I must apologize that I'm not going to make any uh, remarks relating to the occasion, but I would like to ask at this time if I can be excused. I have a procedure to be done within 10 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, uh, go ahead. Your excuse, uh, Florida Harbor. Uh, please proceed to your uh, procedures. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. At this time, uh, in the absence of our Florida, I hereby designate uh, Chairman Rusimov to also act as our uh, <clears throat> Florida. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator Palik, for a very uh, nice statement. Uh, uh, thank you for proving to all who are listening that our government works, that uh, we are, uh, our government is in continuity. Uh, the transition uh, seems to uh, has gone uh, uh, well, <clears throat> awesome. So if there is no objection, uh, we will now move on to the administration of the oath. So I will give uh, short readers at this time, give the, uh, uh, Senator Palik to uh, suit up. Short resist.
Congress is now back in session. May I invite the Acting Chief Justice, uh, Bill in Coron Worswick, to administer the oath of office for our new Vice President, Sergeant at Arms. Please escort the uh, Acting Chief Justice Worswick to the podium for the oath. <clears throat> Please proceed, uh, Acting Chief Justice. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, is the uh, Vice President uh, standing now? Yes, he's, he's there. Okay. All right. Okay, so please, uh, yes? Okay, I can, can see you. you. Can you yes. hear me? Um <laughs> yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, please raise your uh, right hand. Raise your right hand, uh, Mr. Pollock. Okay, and uh, you will repeat after me. After uh, saying uh, hi, uh, please state your own name. Okay, all right. Hi. Hi, Aaron Bing Pollock. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of the Vice President of the Federated States of Micronesia. The office of the Vice President of the Federated States of Micronesia. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Uphold, promote, and support. Uphold, promote and support the laws and the constitution of the Federated States of Micronesia. The laws and the constitution of the Federated States of Micronesia. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Let's give Vice President Palik a resounding round of applause, please. Well, congratulations to you, Mr. Vice President Balik, and thank you, Acting Chief Justice uh, Carl Worswick, for administering the oath to the Vice President. Uh, short reasons. back in session. The next uh, order, Mr. Speaker. Uh, state your point, uh, Vice Chairman. I President. think the Vice President should remove himself. Uh, he's too close to Senator Willie still. <laughs> yes, uh, he will do so uh, as soon as I make this uh, announcement. <clears throat> so the last uh, part of our uh, uh, special order is the declaration of uh, vacancy. Short reasons. Congress uh, comes back to session. So Pursuant to the laws and constitution of our nation, pursuant to Title IX of the FSM Code, Section 106.3b, 
uh, year by declare that the at large seat for the state of Virginia is now vacant. The national election director is hereby notified of this vacancy for their appropriate actions. And that concludes our special order for the day. Short reasons. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Yes. Vice Chairman Christian. Mr. Speaker, I move that Congress stand in recess until tomorrow at 10 yap time. Second. It has been moved and seconded that Congress stand in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning uh, yap time. Those in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Motion carried. Congress now stands in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning uh, uh, yap time. <laughs>